Hi everyone, this is Team Six, and today we are going to talk about what is a group discussion. So, what is a group discussion? A discussion is understood as an activity of sitting and talking about a specific subject. Group discussion are an important aspect of group communication. Group discussion are a creative and dynamic activity which stimulates reflective thinking among the members. Group discussion may be defined as an activity in which a small number of persons meet face to face and exchange and share their views and opinions to reach a decision on a common issue. In group discussion, each participant is free to speak his view, and in a successful group discussion, there is two things that is listening and speaking. Group discussion is popularly labeled as GD. and group group discussion is a methodology which is used in many organizations and the tips for successful group discussion are initiate listen remember observe manage communicate and summarize and that is all about group discussion and let me see on to our other points of group discussion thank you hello everyone today i am going to discuss the topics what are the importance and what are the purpose of gd coming to the first topic what are the importance of a gd gd improve your thinking listening and personality skill it also promote your confidence level it can change your mind it also improve your communication skill it is an effective tool in decision making problem solving and personality assessment it also helps you candidate as fit for the organization coming to the second topic what are the purpose of gd to analyze the behavioral capacities to see your innocent with unknown people to convincing abilities to check anger patience calmness knowledge of topics and the purpose of a gd are to eliminate the problem creating candidate in a organization to reach a solution on an issue of concern to generate new ideas or approaches to solving a problem to provide with us an avenue to train ourselves as in the personal skills thank you hi all i am going to discuss about different types of gd there are mainly three types of gd they are factual topics controversial topics and abstract topics factual topics are about practical things which an ordinary person is aware of in his day to day life uh, uh, typically these are of socio economic topics these can be current that is uh, they could be seen in the news lately or could be inbound by time a factual topics for discussion given gives a candidate a chance to prove that he is aware of his uh, aware and uh, sensitive to his environment example the education policy of india tourism in india etc and second one is controversial topics controversial topics are that of argumentative in nature they are meant to create a controversies in gds uh, where the topics are given for discussion the noise level is usually high there may be tempers flying the idea of being giving a topic like this is to see how the candidate shows some maturity by displaying keeping his temper in check by rationally and logically arguing in his point of view without getting personal and emotional example reservation should be removed etc and the third and the last one is abstract topics abstract topics are about intangible things uh, these topics are not given often for discussion but their possibility cannot be ruled out these topics test your lateral thinking and creativity example a is an alphabet and uh, number 10 that's all for me thank you hi there i am going to discuss about what are the do's and don'ts in a group discussion Let's start with what are the do's in a group discussion. First do is dress formally. Dressing helps make you the first impression and determines one's personality. So do not take it casually. It will add to your confidence and keep you comfortable while speaking in a group. The positive gestures and the body language will make your work easier. Second do is make sure your f- first entry is well planned. The first impression goes a long way. in establishing your credential enter the discussion with the strategy rather than a random input one of the strategy i would like to point out is shock strategy it can be done by sharing a story 
Stories are a powerful way of putting across your point of view. Another way is using quotes of some important personals. Another way is stating relevant facts at the beginning of the discussion. It's a, it is a convenient way of impacting the people. Third do is establishing eye contact with the key participants, but do not ignore the other participants. While the active, active participants need to be acknowledged more frequently, the passive ones should not be completely overlooked. Fourth do is use a strong voice, clear diction and a correct grammar. This gives you an operational advantage. Fifth do is do take counter arguments gracefully and display some good listening skills and this will project you as a good, a good learner. Sixth do is do acknowledge the previous speaker before speaking across your point of view. Not reaching to the preceding input may show your inability to do so. Seventh do is do support your viewpoint with examples and facts. This will add conviction to your point of view and corroborate your stand. Eighth do is do demonstrate an ability to look at the topic from multiple dimensions. This result this reflects your ability to think laterally and treat the topic in a more mature and wholesome manner. Ninth do is do present yourself as a team player with an ability to balance individual excellence and group performance. The group discussion is not just about your perception. You have to respond to others' perspective as well and enlarge the scope of the discussion. Tenth do is address group members with respect and dignity. This shows the professional courtesy and etiquette. Eleventh do is when asked to conclude, summarize the main point of the discussion. The conclusion is not about what you feel about the topic. It's about what the group felt as a whole. Twelfth do is maintain a calm, balanced disposition throughout the discussion. This demonstrates your ability to manage stress effectively. Now, let's see what are the don'ts of a group discussion. The first don't is don't start for the sake of starting. This may project you as an impulsive person with a lack of planning and organizing skill, which will totally discount your candidature for a management program. Second don't is don't speak randomly without a plan and structure. This may give an impression to the panel that you are speaking and not adding any value to the discussion. Third don't is don't be arrogant or aggressive. This may display a negative attitude with the poor interpersonal skills. Fourth don't is don't show a lack of attention or energy. This may show that you are indifferent to the task at hand. Fifth don't is don't condemn or severely criticize anyone's viewpoint. Everyone has a right to his or her opinion. It is possible that the, some members of the group get aggressive while expressing themselves but they need to be managed in a certain other way. Sixth don't is don't indulge in cross discussion when main discussion is in progress. This amounts to transgression and does not conform with the formal etiquettes. Seventh don't is don't get restless and jittery. When someone counters your points, it is natural that in a discussion your point get contradicted. You are supposed to respond with facts, examples, illustrations or logic etc. Eighth don't is don't get into unnecessary arguments or conflicts with other speakers. This will only add to the opportunity cost. Ninth don't is don't look at the panel while making a point. This may project you as an attention seeker and an insecure person. Tenth don't is don't fold your arms or cross your legs to slip into an over casual posture. It is a formal occasion and you cannot portray an informal casual and appearance attitude. 
Eleventh don't is don't enter your neighbor's private space while making a point. This is a violation of is or a intimate space and will be seen as a breach of code of conduct. Twelfth don't is don't over gesticulate. This may project you as an impulsive person. Thirteenth don't is don't scream and shout to prove your point is as it negates the importance of poise and composure. That's all. Thank you. Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss about what are the advantages and disadvantages of group discussion. The advantages are as follows. It provides deeper understanding about the subject. It improves your ability to think critically. It provides different approaches to solving a problem. It helps the group in taking a decision. It gives an opportunity to hear the opinions of other persons. It enables the participants to put across his or her viewpoint. It enhances confidence in speaking. It can change your opinion and show the things from a different perspective. Now we can discuss about disadvantages of group discussion. Learning points can be confusing or not. A few participants may dominate the discussion. Digression is invitable. Consumes a lot of time for transformation of information. That's all. Thank you.